Hey, what's up, hello, and welcome. My name is Maya, and today we have a brand new generation of our family dynamics challenge, and I am so excited to be starting Gen 7, 6, 7 of this challenge. We're going to take a look at the rules right now because clearly I can't remember what gen I'm on. I think it's Gen 6, but I can't wait to start this generation because that means we are more than halfway done with this challenge, which is crazy. I still remember when I started with gen one so yeah definitely crazy to think about but let's start by looking at the rules for this generation and, and then i'm going to tell you my ideas and i'm also going to fill you in on why our why cassiel our gen 6 sim is so sad but first let's go take a look at the rules all right here we have gen 6 of the family dynamics challenge and it says living with a broken heart which is crazy because the way this generation starts I can see why Cassiel has a broken heart, but it says you lost a sibling at a very young age and witnessed your parents' grief while still trying to process it yourself. Last generation, Cassiel lost his younger sister, Angelica, when they were on a family vacation. It was really sad, and it kind of had a turmoil on his life, his mom's life, the whole family's life. But rather than trying to pick up the pieces, you let the sadness consume you. You gave in to your darkest thoughts, theft and criminal activity appeal to you. And eventually you give yourself over to that lifestyle. Even though you're more at home in your contemplative solitude, you take comfort once in a white night stand. But there's a surprising side to you. The raging in your heart is only calmed by the time you spend cultivating life in the soil. And the traits are kleptomaniac, loner, and vegetarian, aspiration, public enemy, career, criminal, rules, run away from the home as a teen and never speak to parents again, do not inherit any money from parents, garden as a coping mechanism, master mischief and gardening skills, st still at least 10 items over the course of generation, and have a one night stand with co-worker that results in pregnancy. So yeah, I'm so excited for this gen. It's definitely different than the previous gens of this challenge. It's definitely the most broken gen, but don't worry, we're gonna, gen seven is gonna come and repair all the, the brokenness that is in this family. Speaking of a brokenness inside of this family right now, Cassiel got some devastating news. I imagine that his other sister, Anastasia, texted him this news because last generation he ran away from home and he's currently living in Evergreen Harbor. I'm going to show you where he's living and everything and I'm excited. But you guys, he's sad because we just got the call that, hi Cassiel, I'm calling to let you know that your family member, Armani Waller, has passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. Armani is Gen 4. His grandfather, who he is extremely close to last generation armani and his uncles were kind of like his saving grace if that makes sense like they're jokesters they were really so close his grandfather and him and his grandfather kept him on the right track but now that his grandfather is gone i don't think he's gonna have anyone to really quell his devious side and right now he's living in this ranky dank apartment in evergreen harbor that i put down and i freaking love this apartment i did not build this apartment complex at all but it just looks like it's supposed to be in evergreen harbor like it fits in the world so well to me um and there's i think six units i might have made more units i might have cheated more because there's two up here and two on this floor no i think there's six and then his two on this floor okay then there are six apartments here i moved some of his friends into the other apartments but also i left some empty because i'm excited to see who moves in we also met the property owner i did not make a property owner but somebody came over last night off camera his name is nathaniel hurd he owns this building and he's basically like our landlord so yeah um today we we're supposed to be in school but we're not going to go to school because he essentially kind of like dropped out but i'm gonna let him continue and see if he like makes it through because he only has three more days until he's a young adult so we're gonna just not have him go to school and hopefully he doesn't fail out of school but yeah no actually two more days until he's a young adult he also obviously grows weed on the side he is a weed dealer he has not a single customer at all but I made him like I gave him the weed dealer trade so he can start having customers because he needs to make money he has no money to pay for rent well he has some money that he had saved up from like his time at home that he was able to take with him look how he looks like a full-grown man he needs to shave this beard y'all he once he ran away <laughs> he was like oh I forgot we can do this this is a bathroom sink but he, once he ran away he kind of was just like 
done with life a little bit, really in a depressive state. So we're going to try to see if we can get him back on track and some life in him. Hopefully we can do that for him. I also, because like, obviously I've been playing with him for uh, all last gen, he has some skills that uh, he needs for this gen. So he's level six fitness. He doesn't need that. I don't think for this gen, I think he just needs mis mischief and gardening. He's level six mischief and level four gardening for his aspiration. He is on the second tier. Yeah. And then all we need to do is become an adult and join the criminal career, which we'll do today. And then we'll work on the rest of it for the rest of this generation. I don't have any like coworker in mind of who he's going to end up having his one night stand with. But when he gets a job, I'm going to have him meet his coworkers and then we'll look through and see if there's any that catches our eye. And we also need to make sure we are actually harvesting all of these. I feel like some of them are hard to reach. So let's see if he can actually harvest them. You are not going to school. Look at him in his little uniform. Like, no, Cassiel, I'm sorry. That is not where we are in our life. Can you not shave? You can't reach these either. This apartment is kind of clutter. Let's see if I can move some things around. Okay, maybe if I take out this wall, we'll be able to reach it maybe. And then I'll move this. Hopefully this doesn't start a fire over. I think it's the this in the way. Can we move it here and it not be in the way? Let's see if that works better. All right, let's see if we can get this now. I think he harvested them. Well, he did. And we can cure purple haze. That's the only one we can cure. Why can't we cure AK-47? These names, man. Oh, yeah, we can. We can cure both. Okay. And he's shaving. Cassiel also has like a whole friend group. So if you're just like watching now and you didn't watch last gen, he is friends with Gracie. And he also kind of talks to Anaya a little bit. Gracie and him, though, he perceives her as basic looking and she is his neighbor in this unit. I moved her and Anaya in, but he was flirting with her off camera, like before I started recording it. I don't know. Oh, he looks much younger now with his face shaven. I don't know why he was flirting with her, but he also has um, Anaya, who per he perceives as basic looking as well, but she's his like neighbor but they like knew each other from the same friend friend group and then he has paris who is like I guess the girl he's the closest to she's evil though and i'm not saying like he's an angel because clearly he's not but she definitely why i don't know why he's still wearing his uniform let me change him but yeah okay that's better um paris is like the girl he's the closest to so i guess so this came up for rent he's always grilling on this i'll let him be but yeah we definitely need to start making some customers so we can make some money. He currently has only one zip bag. He's starting off with one zip bag and a dream. I did cure this on his own. So he's been, I'm, my plan is for him to grow everything he sells on like his own and not have a plug. He is the plug. <laughs> he's going to become the plug. And I also don't want, why are you calling me that I'm missing school? I know that I'm missing school. Is there no table out here? We definitely need like a table for them to sit and eat at. Okay, now there's a table. Mm, we have another teen here. Maybe we can try to sell to her. Maybe she'll be our first com customer. I just noticed she was a teen because of her uniform. That makes it easier. He's still like unbelievably sad about his grandfather and he has like no one to contact because when he ran away, he did not like run away on good terms with his family. It was a whole big thing. So he can't even call like his little sister and be like, I miss grandpa. I can't call his uncles, who he also was close to. So he's just like kind of on his own, which is the worst way to be when you're dealing with loss. I do feel so bad for him. But let's see if we can try to talk to this sim. I don't think he finds her attractive. I don't think she's his type. Yeah, perceives as unattractive. She's his neighbor though. Wait, what's the first impression? She thinks he's distant. He, She's not wrong. I'm like, that's crazy that she picked up on that. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. Like, listen, I run the streets of Evergreen Harbor. You guys know, Cassiel grew up with like an author as a father, a doctor as a mom, but he, he likes to cosplay. Like he grew up in the struggle. That's his issue. <laughs> Ask if she ever tried cannabis. Like, I wonder if she's going to be our first cus customer. She's like, you are not a criminal boy. But you know what? Yes, we are. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we are. Oh, we do need to work on our mischief, though. Dare to prank. Um, oh, look at not Anaya walking by seeing him talk to this girl. Anaya goes to school, y'all. She she does what she has to do. He's in his uniform, too. I mean, I know it's school hours, but damn. Wait, now why is there a new property owner? Is it because I gave the other one 
a makeover. So now we have a new one. Oh, goodness gracious me. I guess we have a new property owner, but it's fine. I won't give her a makeover because she actually looks fine. Her hair and her outfit actually match. The only thing I would do is probably give her eyelashes, but she's fine. She's like coming over to visit. Do I have to let her, let her in? His bestie Cameron also lives here. Cameron is like a distant uncle slash cousin to him. And he also lives in the apartment building. But let me go and invite her in. Hopefully... Would she say anything about our stash? I hope not. I hope not. I don't know if Alice left. Oh no, she, I think she is going like jogging or something. That's fine. Let's see, is she gonna? I don't think she came in. She's like, what is all this mess? You got a mess around here? Give her a howdy introduction. Let me lock this for everyone but Cassie out. So hopefully she doesn't go in. Also, we have cats that just like wander around here. I don't know. There was always cats around the apartment buildings I grew up in, so I just wanted there to be stray cats everywhere. It just it just goes. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can sell to her, and that way she keeps her mouth hush that we have stuff growing here. Or we can make um, we can make what is it? Uh, we can make cannabis legal here. We can also do that, so that way like he doesn't like get in trouble. I do want to. She's probably like, how old did you say you were again? Because when she, when he first like did the apartment, like did the lease and everything, he had his full grown beard, everything. So she's probably like, are you, you have a school uniform on? Are you a teen? Do you have like a job? And he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, my, my parents pay um, my bills for me. You don't have to worry about that. I will always... I will always have um, the money for the rent and everything. He can't even be funny. Like his grandfather taught him how to be funny, but he's like in such a terrible mood. I think she's leaving though. So I think we're good. He's like, couldn't even hold it together to talk to her. He's in here crying. Our poor Cassiel. He misses his grandpa so much, but <sighs> I can't even say anything because like his family has gone through a lot of loss. I'm really scared. Okay, I think she's just cleaning up the property and stuff. We're gonna lay low until she's gone, and then we'll we'll try to figure out some more people we can sell to. For right now, maybe we can troll the forums and work on that mischief skill. He just wants to lay in bed and cry all day, and I'm not letting him. I'm not. We should also work on fitness because I I want him to run like a whole gang. I want him to like get deep into the criminal lifestyle. And Gen 7 is supposed to be like a politician and they're supposed to bridge the gap between him and his parents. So I kind of want him to be like so deep into the lifestyle and then whoever he has a child, I want them to be like his saving grace. And I want them to like, as they get older, convince him to let go of his criminal empire. So we need to like start now <laughs> on the criminal empire. I have never done like um the gangs in base mental but you can be a part of a gang and run a gang so i have to look up on that and you definitely get more money that way so i definitely want him to like this is where he's starting but he's going to end up having like a nice house off of his gang and like i want him to be like a big time criminal big big time criminal i mean it's a part of this gen for him to become like a criminal so might as well like go all out right he's also a loner though which is hard because like to run a gang you have to be like sociable with people so that might be hard for him to do. Oh, you know, we should try to sell to him one of his friends. That's what we should do. I think the girls live up here. Oh, we can also steal from these units because nobody lives here. I wonder if we can have him break. I don't know why we can't. Why can't we break in? Oh, oop. I didn't even mean to break into this house because this is the girl he talks to apartment, I think. Are they here? I don't know if they're here, but it's set up like a kid lives here because honestly, I just put anything. In. Well, I didn't put anything. These were already, but can we steal stuff? Set up social media password stealer. What is that? I'm trying to figure out what can we steal because he is a klepto. Ooh, we can swipe the chair. Okay, let me see if there's stealing kids toys is free. Oh, we could steal this iPad though. I feel like that will sell for good. I know it won't realistically but i feel like it would i don't think any of these stuff is like super expensive but i feel like this is something that you'll steal other than like the tv but the tv i feel like we gotta move up to steal a tv but not wait can he not get in break in i hope he doesn't get caught i'm pretty sure this is this is their apartment she's not here and gracie's not here oh he's really breaking in cassio is so bad is he gonna actually get in oh shh Success. Cassiel has access to the house and all of its juicy secrets. Hurry up and find some dirt before the pe pesky residents return. 
We're not here to find dirt. We're here to steal. Oh, not his grandfather calling him from the grave. Oh my, he's, that's like crazy timing. That's his conscience kicking in. And he's probably like knowing he shouldn't steal from them, especially because this is like his friends. Okay, he stole that. How do we find Snoop? Not him snooping in her bed. Snoop. Oh, we can also clog the drain. I feel like he'll do that. He's nuts for this. Can we snoop on their computer too? Look for homework answer key. Since when you can do that? Snoop, yeah. And not him being sad that his grandfather's dead. Well, that's your conscience kicking in, Cassio. I feel like he's just looking for more things that he can steal. How much can we even sell this for? 500 simoleons. <gasps> that's not bad. Wait, hold on. He figured out a secret about the girl he talks to. Where is it? Where is it? I think... Yeah, Anaya is the girl he talks to. Toilet terror. One day when I was a child, I was overcome with a glorious wave of playfulness. I wanted to get into the most mischief. I don't even know that word. I could imagine. So I set up a prank on the toilet in our house. Admittedly, I didn't find it that fun in the beginning. But once I heard the horrified screech of the first prank recipient, I couldn't get enough. I set the prank up on the toilet every day. I became an expert toilet prankster, whether family or visitors our toilet was sending streams of water into the faces of everyone who dared to use it. I even pretended to be fooled by it and it was never found out. So let's keep it that way. I haven't done it in years anyway. And we know her and her sister and she has like a lot of siblings. Girly, not you being on the wild side. Okay, we found one out about Gracie. Trashy habit. You're telling me you've never gone over to a neighbor's house to use their trash can? Taking out the trash can could be such a haste. Hassle sometimes. All I want to do is get rid of all those gross water cups. My house gets left everywhere or maybe a spoiled grilled cheese once in a while. Sometimes I can't even be bothered to wash those dishes. I just need them gone. So if my trash is full, I just pop over to their trash can real quick and drop off the dishes, all the dishes in. They've never noticed anyways. I am frying. Now who do we have a secret about? It's almost Cassio's birthday. Are we caught? <gasps> Not his uncle pulling up on him what okay let's add him to a group and leave before <laughs> uncle are they here where she oh she's back she's back she's back she's back okay let's let's travel back home go home with his uncle his uncle needs to talk to him she came he came looking for him and was like you're not even like slick you, you got you left the door open i can hear you up here and you're stealing why are we stealing oh my goodness head home head home head home run down the steps <sighs> my goodness okay I think we're back uh where's his uncle he's outside he's talking to her he's talking to her like i'm sorry my nephew stole from you no uncle what what is wrong with you act tough he's feeling um two can keep a secret pay playful for this whole ordeal like no guilt just vibes like what the breaking feature is gonna be a lot of fun this gen though 500 simoleons is not bad. And when we move more people in, it would be even better. It's like, why, why'd you... I was in the middle of a job. A job? Cassiel, that's not a job. You stealing from your neighbors is not a job. And your mom wants you home. Okay, no, I'm not coming home. Um, mock uncool adult. You know how much I did not get along with my mom. And you want me to go back there for what? I'm fine. And his uncle's like, you don't even have a job. He's like, I do. Stealing is not a job. <laughs> but his uncle's trying... How about you just go away? He is not here to deal with family. Oh, he walked away himself. But I want to say just go away. Wait, can we tell meanly tell him to go away? I don't think we can. Oh, no. Just go away like that. Okay. Yeah. We're sending him on his merry way. He opened the door and yelled and was like, and you, by the way, get out of here. <laughs> Laughing at him. Like, come on. Not necessary. We do need to distant with his uncle. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> He's ruining all the relationships he's had for years. It's so sad. All right, let's have him sell this. 500 simoleons, not bad. I wouldn't say he would necessarily cook. So, I forgot he's a vegetarian, I think. Let's order something though. Mm, maybe a foam meat bowl. Yeah, we'll do a foam meat bowl because I think he can eat that. And you came back. Why are you back? I think he's going to end up fighting his uncle. That's what his problem is like. Why aren't you leaving? Hmm? He's like, I'm not leaving. I want you to come back home. I told you 
I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling a little bitter over a few things. What? That's how I should be feeling about you. But I feel like he's telling him I'm not leaving because I told my sister that I'll bring her son back. Your mother is worried about you and you're just sitting here in this apartment. You got weed everywhere. What is wrong with you? Um, argue about surroundings like this is my space. I signed the lease. I pay rent here and you or my mom can't tell me what to do. Just go away. Please leave. And he's like, you know what? fine this girl's here for this delivery her name is june she's eating a dope. she looks decent did you get your food mm, mm, clean that up i don't know where his food went we gave her a tip and everything where's my food are you kidding me did anyone see hold on don't leave yet where did you put my food oh she's at work so we can't see her inventory i know she has my food i'm blaming her i tried well it looks like you do have to cook let's make a snack I guess a grilled cheese should be fine. I'm scared because he doesn't cook. I don't even know if he has a cooking skill. Oh, level three cooking. We should be fine. I mean, Anaya's here. I'm pretty sure she's here. Mm, is this supposed to be laundry? Hmm. I may add laundry then. That's that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can invite Anaya to hang out. AKA, we want some fun. And she's here. She doesn't know we broke into her house. <laughs> so we should be good. And Anaya can be a customer of ours. We can try to get her to sell her some well we have one zip we can try to sell it to her and he's feeling where is he and he's feeling he's feeling flirty too so we might as well invite her over he's heading upstairs with his single plate of grilled cheese you were better off giving her a plate too anaya is sleeping Ugh, and paris is gonna be asleep too well no fun late night for you she probably knows you went into her house and stole because your uncle told her. So now you got to deal with that. I mean, you do have her secret over her head, but I don't think that's enough to get her to not cut you off for that. Just saying. But we should send him to bed and hopefully he has better luck in the morning with inviting Anaya over. Okay, he's up. His principal's calling to probably yell at him. That's fine. We got all the cats in our house because I left the door open. How oh, lovely. Is mail getting delivered? I don't think I have any mail. But did I harvest all of these? Water all. He can water with his tears. Stop. I was sad. I should be able to cure it tomorrow. The more we get. Oh, these damn cats in my house. Get out. Get out. Oh, he is an animal enthusiast though. So he probably does like the cats. We should grow something. Dang. Chicken. Why is there a new property owner every day? The proper property owner can visit, but doesn't mean he has. Oh, Cameron is his like close, close friend though. So let's see. If we can get him to buy. Love to see Cameron skipping. So this is where my delivery was this whole time. I'm glad I found it. Talk about leg legalization. What we eat together. Anaya can come. Cameron. Gracie. I think Sabrina's their sister. I didn't give her a makeover, but she can come too. The more customers we can get, the better. Even though we don't have that much to sell. We can still build up our clientele, seal the deal with him. His first client is Cameron. I honestly feel like Cameron is going to go into business with him. Cameron is kind of like his right hand. They have been like causing issues since they have been kids together. So, you know, I can definitely see them causing issues together. Okay, we sealed the deal with him. Let's try to sell him this. Oh, he did, I forgot he's a vegetarian. I made him make chicken. He's probably like trying to be cool. Like you're being something you're not, right? but... That's going to be the theme of this. This generation is something you're not. Let's sell him cannabis. I think we have enough to sell him one. Oh, and it's expensive in this region. 180. Cool. Complain about classes to Gracie, but you don't even go to class. <laughs> Interesting. Gracie's like, wait, you sell? Yeah, I do. Why do you have all these accessories on? Let's give her a friendly introduction though. Hmm. I wonder if she's related to them. Elizabeth is her mom. I think they're cousins and Evangeline is her mom. Yeah, I think they are cousins. Hmm, interesting. Okay, they got introduced, cute. Anaya's walking by like, so why are you talking to my sister, my cousin? Anaya doesn't give jealousy. Um, What's her name? Paris definitely gives jealous. If Paris was here, he would not be talking to none of these girls. Because Paris, one, is crazy and she's also very jealous. Why are you sitting back like that smoking a vape? Like, you're not even that cool. You're not that guy. Well, since he has the tree, we are going to... Why does he have two bags? Open this up. And he's going to ask his friend for papers. Let me give him papers. Wait, can you not give him papers? Hello? Can I not transfer between the inventories? 
I don't think I did. I gotta give it to him as a gift. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's get rolling plate papers. We're not even gonna eat this chicken. Okay, now, Neil, you should be able to roll. And then we can all chill in his house or his apartment. Is Gracie in here? Or one of the girls? I don't even know. I think I was trying to sell to Gracie. Oh, why are you in my room, Gracie? Seal the deal. I knew, I knew. I was like, I was trying to sell to somebody. Get a client out of somebody. Seal the deal. You got to be careful though, because we're not going to have that much to sell. So we don't want too many clients and not that much product. So hopefully it works out. Did you roll? How about you not jog? You like fitness? Sure. Sit. Is Easton his dad or his brother? His cousin. So Raylan is his aunt. Yeah. And Raylan is Jaden's sister from Gen 2. So that's how they're related. And then they have a brother, Finn. I think. Yeah, his brother Finn is married to Miho. Vaughn is his other brother too. He has so many brothers. Maybe like it'll be like a family game. Christina is his cousin. And so Princeton, Easton, and I think Christina all have no. His parents, I don't I think he's related to him through his dad, meaning that Princeton is not Cassio's cousin, but he's Cassio's cousin through his mom. I don't know. I gotta look at his family tree. I'm like, I'm getting confused. His dad is Sydney Price, but his mom, who's your mom? Is she off the family tree? I don't think we're gonna be able to see her. One of hold on, let me let me go to um Cassio's family tree, but not you smoking the clip. You were supposed to share it. And not you flirting with Gracie. That is what the hell? No, Gracie's flirting with you, sister. Well, I came out here and she was flirting with him. And look how angry she is. Like, girl, you're, you know, I talk to your sister, right? You guys live together. You have to know I talk to your sister. But if she doesn't care, I don't think Cassia will care either. But you're going to have to roll up again. He was like, you took too long. I was rolling. I was having him roll up to share. He said no. So I'm going to have him roll again and give it to Cassia because... Clearly, you cannot be trusted. Cassiel, why are you in the... I mean, you do need a bath, but... Now his other uncle, Dior, wants to join his club. We do not... We're not falling for it, uncle. We are not. His mom is sending all her brothers to come get him. <laughs> Remember Green Harbor? She's like, I want my son back. I can't blame her. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's not leave. Or, well, you guys can play basketball. How about we give this to him? In Soul House? Okay. Not too much on him. Friendly gift. I think Cassiel comes up as his cousin. No. Perceived as basic looking. Are you bi or gay? I think he might be bi or gay. Let me see. He's short tempered. He ages up today. He is short tempered, cool, outgoing daredevil. Oh no, he has a girl, Riley. He perceives her as attractive and she's a whole young adult. When, when do you have a girl? And his mom's an elder, Chanel. She's an elder. Oh well. Oh, are they flirting too? Free love must be on. It must be. Or she just likes to flirt. Let me see. No, free love is on. Okay. Let me remove some of these. Because I like when we vote for it. I don't mind rough housing beyond because I do want the their neighborhood to be rough. But the other ones we can remove. Oh, Princeton's a young adult. We're going to have to start this game soon. He said I should be going. Well, even though free love was on, we're going to just like assume Gracie was flirting with us and unless she's about to leave and we can smoke with her and chill he's like i don't really have much for you right now but we can share what i do have for you to test it out so he's smoking with his i guess situationship anaya and him because they definitely don't go out but flirting with her sister is a wild mm -mm -mm. he's sad so he's giving her gloomy compliments not even being like extra romantic with him or with her mm -mm, and they gained his sentiment and now she's very flirty funny how that works that way what exploded our stove what i want to see what she thinks about him oh gracie likes flirtation that is very messy and perceives him as very attract attractive messiness but are we surprised? No, we're not. All right, we're going to try to build their romance because I do want them to woohoo here tonight. He, w She wouldn't be like his first woohoo or anything because I'm pretty sure him and... Um, I'm pretty sure him and... Oh, they got a pink bar. And this high, Paris, woohooed before. 
So it wouldn't it wouldn't really be surprising to woo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First kiss. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. She's like, um, your stove exploded. You sure you don't want me to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't leave. The landlord would come. All right, they're sharing their first kiss. Wait, is that her sister? Oh no, thank goodness. I thought her sister was coming around that corner. Cause like, why would you guys be in the hallway? Messy, 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 messy. That's the best way to describe him. Okay, let's see if we can woohoo with her. Sit and chat here at least. Come into our room. He is going to be a little bit of a playboy. So I think when he has a kid, it's definitely going to humble him a little bit. I think for the most part, he is very safe because he does not want children. Like he doesn't have that, I don't think, as like his preference because he's a teen. And I think all teens are defaulted to not wanting to have children. But he, not him kicking his feet up on the bed with her. He has been like, and ignore that he stinks, okay? Ignore it. He, he will get in the shower after this. It, he doesn't want to have kids he has like plans to like run a criminal empire and he has protection he does not you know what he should shower beforehand he's you know what he's smarter than me let me make sure she doesn't leave though and he's like let me get in the shower real real quick or bath you get comfortable yourself like let me see if she has an outfit because right now she's in her school uniform and it's just like girl please be for real she has her sleepwear yeah she's gonna get comfortable and she's like you and he's like i have food out there if you want to eat it i ordered it last night girl can you not eat this i guess not okay explosive what happens if i don't replace this let me replace it oh the unit rating went up i don't want to 58 simoleons for addressing be for real can we not unload okay so the delivery bag is glitched put it in your inventory okay you can't even put it in your inventory what okay well where were we actually is he cooking for her? baking a whole cake Talk about munchies. <gasps> Not why are you leaving to but you have counters. He ended up back in here flirting with her. I feel like she's like, my sister keeps texting me when I'm coming home. I feel like she likes this. Like this is it for her. I don't know if her and her sister have a negative relationship or what the the issue is, but that's crazy. Let me see. She has another sister, Jenny goth who's also a teen how many teen sisters does she have jenny's very pretty too then she has jaden goth who is her cousin so i was right that she has cousins because she kind of does look like the other girl that was here who's a teen i think elizabeth is her mom wait does she have an aunt named jenny and a sister named jenny her mom named her aunt after her kid after her sister that's cute i'm like just so well hold on mateus is her dad he seems familiar, Mateus. I don't know why. Okay. She has an interesting family. All right, girly. Are we going to are we gonna do this? You're wasting a lot of time, Casiel. Invite to stay tonight. A sleepover sounds great. I bet it does, Grace. I bet it does, Gracie. As soon as he said sleepover. Mm-mm-mm. Ask for a massage. He would do that. You want to give me a massage? I wonder. Can they mess around? Yeah, they can. Mess around with Casiel. Can we go? I don't know if you're going to go. Okay, they're in the room. Wait, can they? Why can't they mess around? Hmm, something's in the way. Oh, we can try the closet. Let me see if the closet works. Can you not? Oh, not her having another clip, girly. They might have to like woohoo on the spot because it looks like the bed is not working. Okay, it has an object we can choose. Not outside. Maybe the couch? Two in the morning, took forever. Oh, let me not forget to use protection. Oh, it worked. Wait, can I? Hello? use the protection um nope girly you better not be pregnant i'm not dealing this i'm not doing that with you i'm not because she's not a co-worker well i think we're gonna have to wait a few days to see if she's pregnant or not but i'm gonna stop controlling her well let me first send her home like i said cassio's a big flirt but he's not a lover boy mm -mm, not at all so he's kind of fell asleep in the tub, like, uh, let yourself out. And she's like, I thought I was spending the night. He's like, mm, let yourself out. I'm like, okay, Cassio. And this cat, Fish, has been like here this whole time. Like, are you even a stray? I don't think you are. But leave it up to him to steal a cat. I think we're going to steal this cat. So cat, Fish, in a little dress. And he's probably like, who the hell? You have not left. I guess you're my cat now. <laughs> Let me turn off the radio because we are going to have to... We became good friends with fish. Well, if fish sticks around, I might add fish to my house. I'm going to sleep because tomorrow is his birthday. Well, today when he gets up, it's his birthday. So we're going to do like maybe, I wish there was like 
a block party we can throw or something but i think i might just throw a party here and like have everybody out here grilling food all of that all of that good stuff all his friends why would gracie think he's going to prom with her what, what about him gives prom where, where do you see somebody like cassio going to prom gracie like Putting your hopes up, need a little, Cassie, feel, Cassie feels like he needs a little space. Like you're moving a bit too fast. Oh my goodness. And he perceives her as basic looking. He's like, absolutely not, girl. It's always a new property owner and they're always here for a visit. You couldn't be here when my stove literally blew up. You couldn't be there then, but now you want to come over. No, I'm not dealing with these property owners. This building's always under new management. <laughs> always under new management. All right, I think we have enough to cure okay good we have a lot curing oh and we have stuff done curing Ooh, he's gonna have a good birthday mm -hmm. miss lady <laughs> no was she the one that has the issue throwing away her plates in other people's trash cans though that is funny that she's here cleaning up i told you to go home and now you're letting yourself into my apartment and i don't know why you think you can Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah i think we're gonna we're gonna have to be a little mean to her and yell at like girl don't be coming into my house doing all this we are not an item nobody ties me down even if she's not pregnant i feel like she'll lie and say she is a part of me wants to check a part of me wants to suspend who is this little kid heading upstairs hmm. do we get a new tenant finally i want to see where he's going oh we do have new tenant interesting a new place to break in definitely gonna be fun i should really get going i'm glad you know i am glad you know dang we should have had her make us a cake though he's not above using people for things i guess he could bake his own cake mm. okay it's just a, a traditional birthday cake and luckily all his friends are already living here because we could just honestly do like a little little thing i think she's the new neighbor Oh, the new neighbor has like hella kids. Hella kids. Well, it looks like they're all leaving. Yo, he's probably telling his friends, y'all want to break into the new neighbor's place? Oh, this little girl's playing marbles. Moses, or sorry, this little boy's playing marbles. I think it's a boy. I'm not sure. Of course. You see with Cassiel, he tries to be this like tough guy. But realistically, he's like, he is tough, but he's also like caring about animals and people not people, but animals and like plants. So for him to act like he's not is hilarious. It's hilarious, really. All right, let's throw his party though. Cause it is his birthday. It's also neighborhood brawl, but <laughs> it's fine. Let's do, I guess we'll count it as a teen party. All right, and then invite it. We'll invite a whole bunch of teens, not his sister though. Alice can come. I'm just gonna fill the this place up with teens, honestly. Well, we we can only invite 12. Hold on, let me, let me, let me be. Let me let me do my friends first and then add other people. Well, Princeton is not a teen anymore. Mark is still a teen. Jenny is a teen. I don't think Princeton is a teen anymore. And his other friend isn't a teen. So I don't think we should do teen party. Let's do something else. Plus he is leaving teenagehood. So let's let's do a different event. Let's do just a standard birthday party. Him. The guest. It's too many Sims. Alice we know. I'm trying to think of all the people we know. Anaya can come. Cameron. All right, we're going to start the party now. I invited a whole bunch of random sims, to be honest. And I want to kind of not have no one come in here. So like for everyone but Cassiel, I guess I'll move my stereo outside. Just for right now. It's kind of like realistic that he brought his stereo outside so everyone can party. I guess we can even, I mean, we don't have to hire a vendor. We can grill. I don't think any of these are vegetarian safe my love so let's grill something that baked potatoes dried fish uh plantains are dang you don't eat nothing mushroom steak okay let's do that i always forget that paris looks pregnant i need to fix her and create a sim to help her out that she always looks pregnant but y'all she scared me that she was pregnant oh i was terrified terrified i don't think you ever made your cake like what happened to the cake I guess we gotta make one. I could have swear he made one, but okay. Let's make a birthday cake. We will turn on mm, maybe hip hop. I could do R&B and put on high value. Over here, chefing it up. Not all his tings here. Gracie's here. He doesn't know Jenny. Jenny's their other sister. Might as well meet her too. 
and then I just invited Sims to fill up the space, honestly. Yeah, but his friend Mark is here. Mark is his friend. I want to age up Mark. Princeton's already a young adult. Barbara can age up. She's a teen. Um, Paris is a young adult. Regina can age up. Yeah, all these teens can age up. Stacy's a teen too. Luckily, I think Paris aged up already. He's feeling looming anxiety. Boy, if you don't finish making this cake. I hate that they always use the counters in here. I need to... Put the washing machines here because they keep thinking this is the counter that he needs to cook on and it's just no are you a young adult now yeah cameron is too and i think this is brother oh anaya looks so pretty like i don't even know why you did anaya like that being with her sister like that's so rude did you make the cake is it me or is he just not making the cake oh no he put it in the fridge i'm like hello mm -hmm. we're gonna add birthday candles and come out here and age up everyone's eating we really skip prom. We really oh, resentful about prom invite. How many girls is that going to pop up for? Oh my goodness. We really got Gracie smoking because she did not smoke until we started selling to her. Why are you getting attacked by bees? Where around here are bees for you to be getting attacked by? Hello? Of course, he's figuring out this new girl who he, he's attracted to, but I think she thinks she's creepy. Oh no, she thinks he's distant, but he thinks she's funny. Maybe she actually has a good head on her shoulder. But of course he's attracted to her because he's like honestly attracted to everyone. All right, let me get this cake out and start aging up these teens that he did not put the can- I'm scared to put the cake out here actually because he's going to end up eating it. Oh, are you meeting Jenny too? Please, please leave poor Jenny alone. Haven't you had enough of the sisters? What does he think of Barbara? Oh, he thinks Barbara is very attractive too. <sighs> this boy, this boy, this boy. Okay, Jenny. He thinks she's just interesting and she thinks he's distant. They're not wrong. All right, can you stop talking to the girlies and go put some candles on that cake? Okay. Cute. What do you mean you can't put candles? Why? Why? What is getting in your way besides yourself? This apartment's going to be the death of me. If I put this out here and somebody eats my freaking cake, I'm going to scream because you could have just did this inside. Center of a table. Is it not in the center? Is it not in the center? Where is it then? If this isn't the center, what is? This cake doesn't want me to be great. Where is all this money coming from? Is somebody robbing us? You guys see this, right? Where? Where is this? Where are we losing money from? Like, are we getting fined for like a noise complaint? Like, it's not even telling me what the issue is. We lost hundreds. Where is this? I've never seen something like that before. Just money gone, gone. I, this is the worst birthday. I don't even think he can blow out candles down here. He's going to blow out his candles in this rinky dink laundry. This is like terrible. Happy birthday, Casio. <laughs> awful, awful. How to celebrate his birthday right. If this is not karma, I don't know is. I just really want to know how much money we had taken from us. Like, honestly, that's crazy. Like, I don't think he... I think loner is his last trait, but it's like cut off so you guys can't see. But I think he has that already. I'll give him another trait. I don't even know what to do for his trait, honestly. And he's a high school dropout. <laughs> Girly poo. Don't eat this cake. Okay. She just came up to wish us. Well, she's actually sweet for wishing us a happy birthday. Okay, age up Sim. Anaya needs to age up. <laughs> I think I might have them do all of this off camera because this is going to be tedious to age up all of his. Wait, no, actually it ages them up fast. Age up Sim. Grace can age up. Wait, no, 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 no. Actually, Anaya's already a young adult. Anaya, don't blow out the candles. <gasps> But it's going to take them forever to age up because they all have to come up here one by one and age up. But he is officially a young adult. He looks so sad. I mean, he's going to have a miserable generation, to be honest. But I'm going to put him in the criminal career and he's going to get started next episode. But he's official young adult and we are going to work on this gen. I'm excited for him to join his career so we can figure out his coworkers and figure out who that one night stand is going to be with. I'm not sure if gracie is pregnant either way i don't think she is because it allows me to age her up but we have to be more careful with this protection because his only kid i think if i'm reading the rules correctly should come from the one night stand so we have to be really careful with him and who we choose to be the mother of his child but anyway i had fun this episode and i'm extremely excited for this gen i cannot wait to get started with everything let me know your thoughts down below and i will see you guys next time bye now